praise the name of the Lord and good evening. It's that time when we bring to you the Gorgeous Woman Show again. I'm your host, Reverend Ruth Wamoyo, and it's always a joy to be an inspiration to someone, especially a woman that is going through some trying times, maybe due to health issues, um, family, marriage, children. It doesn't matter what you're facing. God is a strong tower in the time of need. And uh, I would, I'd love to encourage you that don't keep quiet. If you're going through an issue, look for somebody and talk about it. And you can always reach out to us on zero. 728 uh, 316317 or you can follow us on social media Covenant Television Network or Reverend Ruth Wamoyo and you can just talk to somebody. Never keep quiet because we are dying because we are quiet and there is such a gorgeous woman in this show that has decided in spite of what she has gone through she will not keep quiet. Mm -hmm. She will shout it out to the rooftop Amen. and uh, she's not new to you when you see her you know you know her. Yeah, If you know people you know you know her. She's a wonderful worship leader Amen. a recording artist, a woman woman of God and uh, we are privileged to have her. Her name is none other but Melody Disho. So Karibu Sana, uh, Melody, it's good to have you. Good. Thank you, ma'am. You look gorgeous you, and you. uh, you've kept yourself <laughs> well for the many years that I've known you. I thank God. Yes. I thank God. So tell us more about yourself. Uh, we know you as a singer. You are a wonderful singer. Maybe you could just touch one of the songs that you've done. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Nilikuwa ni mesukumwa karibu kuanguka Ila wewe baba yangu kanishikilia Umekuwa ngome yangu na wimbo wangu baba Tena wewe umekuwa wuko wangu Amen. Hey, I wanted you to continue. I, I was just getting deeper. There is a way you just sing that calms somebody down. Amen. And it's, I believe it's because it's not just a, a talent. Sure. It, is a, it is a gift and an anointing that God has given you. So Glory beyond being God. a singer, I know you're a mother, you're a wife. Oh, yes. Tell us more about you. Um, um, my mother, my name is Melody Ndichu. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ndichu is my husband. Mm -hmm. Most people understand because it is in my ID. Ndichu is my father. Oh, yeah. And tell us about husband. that. How did it get into your ID? <laughs> did you get uh, married under 18? I'm a tuambe tu kweli. I told you a story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> story yeah. I, I got married young, yeah. but not that young. Yeah. And um, I found myself in Dicho's house before I I, I was uh, I was uh, able to kuchukua uh, ID. ID. Yeah. So the time I'm born, I ID, already nilikuwa niko kwa Dicho. Ah, okay. And then... um. Uh, it, 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 we decided and, and because you kufanya arusi you know ukifanya arusi ya kanisa ndo una, una fuatiliwa miaka na nini na nini mm -hmm. ilikuwa tu ile ya by the grace of god yeah, we, when we went to ya yeah, <laughs> tulienda kwa kuchukua id the, yeah. uh, wakatuambia we have we must have a so ya vidavid mm -hmm. kitu inaitwa hivyo mm -hmm. ndio nipewe id kupitia kwa mme wangu oh. so tukaenda kotini tukaswea Wow. Eh tuka tukapewa ile ile kama kibali cha kuchukua mm -hmm. with my husband's name. Mm -hmm. So I've been melody in Dichu and everybody is like Dichu is the father. I actually I actually had never thought about it. <laughs> yeah, but it come to husband. think about it that is brilliant. So for you uh the idea tells it all that sure. until death do us part. I'm telling you amen. <laughs> So great. Yeah, I am a mother mm -hmm. of three great children. Mm -hmm. My firstborn is Kibali, mm -hmm. Malaika, and Furaha. Mm -hmm. Ayang, Ayang, Kayang, Katoto Kadogo, Tulipata Juzi. Yes. A boy of restoration, we thank God. Amen. And uh, my firstborn is uh, turning 19 very soon. Hey! Uh, second one is turning 16 in few months. Yes. And the Kabibi is one year and uh, 10 months. Glory to God. With God. Those are two generations in the same house. You are not alone. <laughs> I not read, I read. <laughs> Some of us have, have taken the path before. Wow. Yeah, and it's a, it's a joyful journey. With God. Um, you've, you've talked about your last son being a restoration. Mm. So um, I know there is a story behind it. Yeah, yes, but above yes. all, what has made you come here is to uh, testify of God's healing. Amen. That um, what the doctors thought could not be cured, mm. the Lord did it for you. Mm. Amen. And I think that is why we are here. Sure. But I just want to know like um, how many years have you been married um, uh, in four months time yeah. I've been now 20 years 20 years oh oh yes. wow yes, I believe years. you're going to have a celebration oh, even if it's oh, in oh. a small town <laughs> we must have one I've already invited myself <laughs> thank you <mama. laughs> 
<laughs> Amen. So our viewers, as, as you have seen, is a jovial guest, a, a person that you know, a wonderful singer. Amen. But above all, the testimony behind it is what we encourage you. So uh, don't touch that dial. Share with your friends and family. Let them know it's gorgeous time. Mm. And see you after the break. Amen. <laughs> So welcome back our viewer and uh, it's always a joy and an excitement to have you on board. Uh, do, you, do you think that your case is impossible before God? And sometimes you are even, uh, the thoughts of death are even, you are quoting with the thoughts of death and thinking that your condition is impossible. Jesus said that what is impossible with man, mm. with God, all things are possible. And I think this is a more of possibility show that we can show you what God can do through the testimonies of others. Mm. So I want to begin by now going to your family. Yeah. You come from a family before you got married. Sure. Um, how is your family like uh, your dad, your mom? I know, and uh, uh, our condolences, your dad is late not long ago. Yes. But tell us more about your upbringing. Um, I came from a family of 12. Mm -hmm. 12? Yes. Ah, Jehovah is good. <laughs> One uh, mother? Yeah, no, two mothers. Okay. Uh, my mom passed on in the year 1991, mm -hmm. my biological mother. Mm -hmm. And then my dad remarried two years after. Ah, okay. So I'm number seven in the family, mm -hmm. the number of God. Yes. And uh, uh, being the number seven, while I was at Wanyuma Kabisa, there is a way wale wa kwanza wanakuanga upbringing yao kulikuwa na follow up and all that mm -hmm. so uh, my dad niki, niki zaliwa and my upbringing my mm -hmm. dad was a man of god yeah, yeah. those first born zambo walimpata bado walikuwa hajaokoka mm -hmm. but for me being the seventh born nilipata my mom and my dad walikuwa especially my mom was a prayer warrior mm -hmm. if uh, i am to remember sura yake cuz ayuko sana kwa kichwa yangu mm -hmm. she was always with red eyes angetuacha shambani tukilima umsikie in tanks ruguru amote in a place yani alikuwa mtu mwenye 24/7 alikuwa kuomba so upbringing yetu tu ilikuwa it was a humble beginning because everybody has a humble beginning and uh, how old were you then when she passed about 9 years 9 years yes oh wow 9 years and then nyuma yangu kulikuwa na wengine wawili because now my biological mother alikuwa na watoto 9 mhm mm uh, my step mother your mother had 9 kids yes so like there were two after you yes so how does it feel to be a seventh born because <laughs> umesema and you've said something <laughs> very correct yes. ah wengine they were uh, yes. they were brought up yes. wewe ulijipata eh, tu ni ile tu nakuwa zile namba za na huku eh. and uh, i'm telling you it is it is good it is good <laughs> wana <laughs> But you know they start ka tension yeah. ambao inakuanga kumtoto wa kwanza wa pili uh -huh. wa tatu and then mnafika mko wengi tu so the <laughs> grace inakuwa na maisha tunaleana huko eh, yes <laughs> tunaleana and um, mimi nilikuwa ni msichana wa nne mm -hmm. kwa familia because yeah. i have three sister elder sisters yeah. and uh, ministry yangu ya uimbaji ilianza hiyo hiyo time let me say that wow. because i started singing when i was very young in sunday school mm -hmm. and um, nikisema our humble beginning we used to live uh, rev in nyumba za nyasi oh and kwetu mimi na mbi yangu nilikuwa lucky cuz nilipata zikiwa mbili wow. ilikuwa moja like one structure ya nyasi mm -hmm. so mimi nikikuja niki, niki kukua nilipata tuko na mbili by the grace of god tulikuwa tuko tuko very far but you are bringing you are going to school without shoes it was kawaida like shoes we used to wear christmas na nilo unavaa ya sande lazima uvae na ukuja utoe hiyo siku afternoon yani ni ile yenye ilikuwa humble beginning but our beginning was humble beginning with god the beauty about everything we were going back kwa hiyo nyumba tunajipata it was so warm because there was god it is true our parents were to introduce kwa god and i thank god even if my it is very serious to say he's late. I feel he's not late yet. I know, yeah. Even if my dad is late, um, the best gift I'm all it was yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mungu. It's true. Because he has raised a lot of ministers in our family. Mm -hmm. We have pastors, we have apostles, we have ministers like uh, Sunday school teachers. Wow. We have worshippers like me. So aliacha the, the, the best mbegu ambao alipanda watu wanatokana na most certificate si same ya tu na kwa familia kuna watu wako na nyingi mm -hmm. but the best one it is god it is true everybody is serving god in that family so mm -hmm. the best thing your upbringing yangu the best thing i can remember is just god oshi your guy the one that we used to mm -hmm. in that ka fire fireplace the fireplace yes. yeah that is the i, the fireplace. Fireplace. Yes. I hope those two fireplaces are there because are, i see yeah. people are getting <laughs> urbanized and 
like I can believe yes. everybody yes. in Ushago has gas cooker, mm. but there is a mystery about the that fireplace. fireplace. Yes, yes. The fireplace. songs were made out of that. The, the fireplace, yeah. especially my brother. We have an apostle in our family, Apostle Moses Musa. Yes, yeah, Usema, the birth year ministry, yake. and he's a powerful preacher and Amen. a singer too. Amen. Yeah. We thank God. Yeah. Out of, when my mom was kneeling down kwa fireplace as buya kiamka because I'm a moto kneel down, he used to kneel down next to mom. And mama is speaking tongues because I do tongues, he used to say kabarak. Kabarak kwa moi, kabarak, kabarak, kabarak. So the, that, the gift of my brother was, was birthed there yeah. at the fireplace. Uh -huh. And I remember that is especially uh, the last night mm -hmm. my mama passed mm -hmm. because Ali Peleko Hospital to go to Melala. The, the memory that I have mm -hmm. of her mm -hmm. in that fireplace. I get Somia Bibilia because it was a must in yes. our family. Mm -hmm. Every night at Somia Bibilia and at Wombe. Mm -hmm. And I remember my dad was in uh, Koru. Koru is a place. Ukenda yeah. Kisumu. Yeah. I'll come at a conference. Yeah, man. Wow. So that night, Niki Kumbuka, my mama lit Somia Bibilia and Akatu Wombe. Kama Kawida Venyalikuwa Mezoya. And then Akaenda Kwa Bed. Ali po enda bed, ali peleko hospital, isi tukua tumelala, you know wale wadogo hamuwa yeah. mishangu. Mm. Only my two big sister and my brother ndi walijua, and then we lost her. But the greatest memory that I will forever remain with it mm -hmm. is there was God in our house. Yes. Let me repeat that again, there, there was, was God. God. Yes. There was God, because our upbringing, what we went wanapotea, because yeah. most of us tuli jaribu kutoka. Yeah. Na sili unatoka kama ujui, unajua kabisa unatoka. Yeah. But that prayer, ambayo mm -hmm. mamama li planned, mm -hmm. yu ya kutuombea 24-7, sacrifice yake, yu ndi ulituru, ina, ina, ina to restore. Yeah. yeah, that's why the Bible says, train up a child mm -hmm. in the way that they should grow. Amen. And when they grow up, they will never depart from it. Amen. Actually, in the way of the Lord. Amen. So that is a testimony of what God has done. Amen. I'm, I'm trying to imagine, um, as a young girl, and you've grown up without a mother, yeah. And um, now there is a stepmother that has come in. Mm. Did you feel any difference? There was a great, a great difference. Mm -hmm. Because most of the times, um, when you lose a mother, mm -hmm. expectation, ya kila mtu, inakuanga ule mbo utapokea, you try to look, to look at her with an eye, eye of, of your the mother, mother that you lost. Yeah. So it was hard. And then, you know, the, the, the community, when akuanga wame raise watu na ile, a mentality like stepmothers are not good. Yes. Stepmothers, they cannot bring you up well yeah. and that. So, while what will go around us, well, already want me to feed up na yo, yo negativity. Mm -hmm. na negativity. And remember, our sisters, and Bawal Kuambelet, will come a groom. So, from my brother, Apostle Moses, Kwenda Chin in your truly raise one na our mom. Mm -hmm. And I thank God because. Uh, Ata kama tulikuwa na hizo negativi, negativity zote, mm -hmm. ali, alikuwa bado na ye, alikuwa a, a woman of God. Wow. She was also a prayerful woman. Mm -hmm. So she supported my dad until my dad akatoka kuwa elder. My dad passed on akiwa presbytant. Wow. Akiwa sisa presbytant, alikuwa mm -hmm. misimamia kanisa kadha inakuru. Wow. So we thank God because if mom, vile watu alikuwa metag, iyo mother, mm -hmm. stepmothers are not stepmothers. Yeah. If she was not good, that mm -hmm. man and get rudichini hata spiritually. Nikwene. But she brought us up. For now, I know I still have a mother. Wow. My dad is not there, but I can go to Ushago because my mom is still there. Yes. Because yeah, and you are bring up from an age of nine years. Yeah. That is the only mother that I know. It's true. That is the only person. In fact, she calls me. I don't feel, I call her mom. Oh, yeah. Because I don't have another mother. It's She's true. my mother. Yeah. I tell people I have a mother and they are like, because this is the mother I know. It's true. The one that went, bado siku ni memjua. And she's a great mother. She's wow. a great mother. Her name is Mary Jambi. She's wow. a great mother. We love her so much. Amen. Amen. What a testimony. Amen. And especially when you grow up, you truly understand that the shoes she was trying to fit in, mm -hmm. they were even more hotter for her than sure, you. Sure, sure, sure. Because sure, sure. as you have said, there is always this perception that when mm. a stepmother comes, yes, yes. they've come to take over. Mm -hmm. And most mm -hmm. of them, they are all, all, always people imagine they are coming to inherit yeah <laughs> they never see that there is a responsibility of kids to be mentored and all that so sure. to every step mom mm. that has gotten married and raising kids mm. um, may god bless you and may amen. god encourage you amen so now we go to your musical journey <clears throat> um you now begin th that is when you discovered that you were called to sing sure so tell us more about your musical journey now before we now <laughs> go to the testimony of your healing oh my musical journey yeah um i used to sing in sunday school mm -hmm. i used to sing at home i used to use Kichana, like it was my microphone. Yes. And Moshakwe, Moshakwe is, is Moshakwe in a corn, the, the corn thing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my my brother by then, 
let me talk about my brother Apostle Moses was was the one that what I say my mentor in our family is my brother. Ah the one that and I look in at. the family there is always yes, one. Yes. The one that you really gel with. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so he used he used Alikuwa ni ule mtu mwenye my dad ange tumana anataka mahindi ya kuchoma. Mimi ndio nilikuwa naenda naye. And uh, we will go to the shamba and angeombea mahindi. And then anakata na mimi ni Asha na receive. Na receive mahindi. <laughs> so our ministry started <laughs> started from the shamba and that is I, to game by to game by like I'll be re, I'll be re, I I uh, speaking tongues mimi ndio nitaimba praise and worship in the shamba too even and then tuta toa hizo mind maybe maybe ni za mutungo or za kuchoma and ministry yangu kuimba huko ye, eh, in fact kama kuna ule mtu mwenye ameni rebuke mm -hmm. sana in our family mm -hmm. na ile ya kuniambia ufanye vizuri mm -hmm. na bado ninapokea ni yeye mm -hmm. so ministry yangu ilianza nikiwa mdogo and then ika come to a place ndio nikuje kufika nita record mm -hmm. uh, Our, the man of God that ushered me and my husband to salvation, mm -hmm. like officially. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Pastor John Munge. Mm -hmm. And I remember one day I came to the Kasarani Stadium. Mm -hmm. And then it was it was and uh, uh, it was like once a month, we were doing fasting. Mm -hmm. And then I can remember you can sing. And I can remember you shout. You can imagine Kasarani shout, shout, daughter, you can sing. And I'm like, wow. even if I was doing it off, yeah. it was like you can do it. Yeah. And uh, I was a praise and worship leader by then. It was a, a, a humble beginning. Yes. Yeah, humble beginning, and he was a pastor, uh, a young man. Yes. I was married. Mm. He was a young man that became a great man of God now in Karatina. Yes. And uh, by that time, Sigua no one came in a So God connected me to to many people, and then I found myself in 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 one place where I grew, mm -hmm. and that is under you, Reverend. <laughs> And uh, wow. my mini now now my ministry journey yeah. ile take off my jet yeah. ili take off when yeah. nilianza ku serve yeah. under VSC and my life my life it turn around my first album mm. uh, there's a there's a, an album ambayo nili, nili record mm. by then uh, my brother alikuwa ananiambia ni album we too because si kuli zigi si kuli release nilikuwa nimeifanya just a post <laughs> moment <laughs> <laughs> nilifanya in a in a, in a studio in Ngara uh -huh. and then Sijui kile kile happen siku imba tena. Mm -hmm. And then uh, God akanipatia the, the album ambayo nimeimba ya ngome yangu. Yeah. And yeah. it was after now this this time of losing the sun and yeah. all that. Yeah. So my first recording ile album nisasema Mungu anipatia na inajulikana it was ngome yangu mm -hmm. and that was 2012 it is the yes. time that I released it. So th this time when you lost your son maybe there is a mother watching and they've lost a child mm -hmm. and that is a dark moment sure. uh, that any woman can experience mm. what kept you going apart from music oh my god mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that that was one of of the serious moment ile yenye nishaikuwa nayo in my life ambayo yenye uh, most most people uh, wanaambia ngo all things work out for good mm -hmm. and sometimes mtu atakwambia hivyo in that dark season yes kwangu si kwa naona goodness in that That's season And I remember that album was birthed in that season, especially the Ngomeyangu song. Mm -hmm. And that season, I, I, I will say, that thing that carried me, it was only the word of God. Wow. The word of God, because even that song is the word of God. Yes. It is in the, the book of Psalms 118 verse 13, where David said, I was pushed and about to fall. Yes. But the Lord delivered me. Amen. And I, rem I remember that time, Nilikuwa Nikilia, Nikilia, that song, there's a part that is musical, musical like, Mm -hmm. It was it was it was something that was weird. Hata nilikuwa naambia my husband inakaa weird. Sasa zile nataka kulia kwa nini God anipatie ruhusa nilie? Hii music zinatoka wapi? Wow. And I remember that time it is the time that I called you and you told me that this is on God is going to birth something out of it. Wow. And you told me don't stay there. Yeah. Don't stay in that season. Mm -hmm. Tell God akutoe kwa hiyo season na sikutoe hivyo akutoe na kitu. Mm -hmm. And that is when I recorded that music. Wow. Season yangu ilikuwa mzuri. Uzuri wa hiyo season ilikuwa God alitoa kitu kizuri out of it. Yes, and it is that album. And God knows how to squeeze um, sure. something good honey out mm -hmm. of a rock. Sure, sure. And I think that's what he did for you. Amen. So through your main story is through childbirth. Mm -hmm. So um, now tell us the journey of your healing diagnosis um, <laughs> because I don't want to preempt. Oh my yeah, God. I don't want to preempt. But basically just tell us what it was. Introduce what happened to you. Mm -hmm. uh, we have like two minutes and then we talk about it in the next uh, uh, episode. Okay. It was, it was 2004. Mm -hmm. Uh, I became very sick. Mm -hmm. I visited like three to four hospitals. Mm -hmm. 
uh, but the major one was Kenyatta Hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, nikakuwa mgonjwa nikapeleka ushago. Kwa next and ile ugonjwa una, unakonda mpaka unaambiwa tu uende daktari akwambie ni nini. Ushago? Eh, nikapeleka ushago like waiting ni kufe. Okay. But later on nikakuja Nairobi because in that process I was pregnant. Nikakuja Nairobi kwanza antenatal care. And that is the time they said melody you are HIV positive. Wow. Our viewers, we are going to stop at that. Uh, so, they are told that she is HIV positive and expectant. So, we'll hear what the law did because this is a testimony of a miracle. Amen. See you after the break. So, welcome back, our viewer. This is where you begin to say that. Uh, as she has said in Psalm 118, that I would have been crushed, I would have been downtrodden. Were it not that the Lord picked me up and was on my side? So, and we can see a lady that God has picked up. You don't even look anything like what you're telling us. Yeah, Though they God. say that you can't tell, yeah, yeah. but uh, you are telling us that the doctors confirmed you are HIV positive. Sure. So, how long did that take before the diagnosis, and what were you experiencing? That was 2000, early 2004. Mm -hmm. um, it started ile kumwa na tumbo si ile vitumbo na mwana tumbo na mgongo and then i went by that time nilikuwa na kama alipa naitwa raini on your way to tigoni okay. banana mm -hmm. so the nearest hospital ambayo ilikuwa very cheap because by that time bado tulikuwa tuko kwa grace ya mungu ilikuwa tumetoka nyahururu like tumechotwa tume nyahururu pia yes. ulikuwa umeenda nyahururu eh hey, my, my husband is from nyahururu okay god is married in nyahururu so you stayed so, in nyahururu yes i stayed in nyahururu and one day my husband alipokuja nairobi tukachotwa vitu na watu wa kirep <laughs> after kuchotwa <laughs> after kuchotwa vitu ile ilibakia ikaibiwa uh -huh. so tumekuja Nairobi ku, tu, by that time ndio nilagonjeka the first time nikigonjeka tulikuwa tumehostiwa na a brother ya my husband mm -hmm. na tuko na mtoto ambaye is my first born alikuwa 2 years by then mm -hmm. so nimeumwa na tumbo niko kwa wenyewe nataka CGLV one day I told my husband what at 22 hospital ndio nijue ni na happen so tumeenda ka, Karori hospital iko banana mm -hmm. ikaenda wakaniambia you are pregnant and due to ile kitu litumia family planning si kopa inaweza kuwa ndio ilikudunga ndio maana uko na uchungu oh yeah because the discharge iko na pass so tunafikiria ni even our doctor wanafikiria yanga so wamefikiria wakona ni hiyo but nikaenda regularly naenda tu uchungu unaendelea ninafika mahali CGLV nasikia uchungu si kawaida so wakani nikaenda to hospitali kadhaa tu clinic tu ndio tu clinic tu private yeah but hakuna mtu alikuwa ananiambia kile kinanisumbua. Mhm. Mm so nikasema nikaambia so no husband, blood tests were done. No. Ah. And if if these blood tests walifanya hawakuniambia kile kinanisumbua. Oh. Nikafika mahali nikaenda nika Kenyatta ule wa mwisho aliniambia enda Kenyatta hii kesi yako unaweza saidikia Kenyatta. So nikaenda Kenyatta nikifika kwenda Kenyatta already tulikuwa tume Mungu ametubariki tumetoka kwa our brother my brother in love sasa tumeenda Githurai tumeanza life in a, in a single confused house Githurai ina mattress yeah. <laughs> bora kakitana sasa ndio tumeanza tena tum, Mungu tumeanza tena yeah. by that time I was very excited unajua sasa niko kwangu hata kama ni, ni that confused house mm. and you still was, expectant yes, and I'm expectant so tumeenda Kenyatta hospital uh, walipofanya hizo hiyo sasa walinitoa damu na wakafanya kila kitu hawakoniambia kam siku fulani kam siku nikafika mahali nikakuwa very weak to an extent my husband yule alikuwa anafika mahali mpaka anani ananibeba because i'm very weak hakuna kitu wananiambia ina happen mtoto mimba imeanza kuwa kubwa sikuli nikikula kila kitu natapika so one day tukiwa Kenyatta juu ward ward i guess 3c or 3d one doctor akaambia my husband eh huyu tunaona kesi ya melody ni kama itakuwa solved hapa wewe mpeleke tu nyumbani you wait for a miracle and they've not even told yes. this my husband how do you want to be able 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 to be Two and or two, two and a half apple. Mm -hmm. My husband to look what to have so as him again, a casin hang and take care of the same to get cooler. So these two and a half girl, yeah, and you are going and serve come and imagine because you could kitanda see where it's talker hospital. You could be one of the come and each one that she could you put a back and if you can self confused as my chosen one day. See at the mother to say, Manicama, Nicama, Cabet, Sita, Conachon, it was so hard. 
and one day my husband decided melody wacha nikupeleke nyumbani mhm saa kwao eh kwao mama mama nikaenda mama kani treat akajaribu zote metha five boiling the five maji ninakunywa and wow that is a hiyo kuni eh hiyo kuni tu gani ni tuga i love that woman so much because haku haku angalia ile wewe ni mgonjwa manini ama alinituga for for almost one month Wow. Eni karudi one day nakumbuka akitoka kazini alipata niki nikipasua kuni. Akaniambia ume urudisha nguvu hivyo tu next time nitaza pasua kuni. Hiyo unajua sasa ninakula and then sina mtu mwenye anajudge. Uko well, kuna mtu cuz uh, ile plot nilikuwa nilikuwa natoka nikijisikilia nasikia mama akiambia na wewe na mwanyamo. You know ah, that that wow. that eh yeah. mm. kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeshed nime niko hata kwa GBC ni kubwa bado. Nilikuwa nimekonda bones peke yake ndio zilikuwa zinaonekana. Nilipopata strength na mimba yangu ni kubwa a uh, tukona inafaa kuwa nimeanza clinic mm -hmm. but singeanza na clinic nya hururu kwa sababu sikuwa nakaa nya hururu mm -hmm. so my husband akafikiria ni and this time around why in one that one month now you started even walking yes wow that is one month so my husband akafikiria kuja Nairobi ndio tuanze clinic huku hata kama utarudi uku at least umeanza clinic Nairobi so i came back <laughs> kuja tena eh, sasa hapo ndio nikaenda hospitali how was your relationship with i'm trying to understand your mother in love mm cooking for you yes. na kuku treat what did you do to gain such favor or is it just she's a good woman she's a good woman mm. and, and let me say mm. sometimes mungu anatumiaga watu kwa season flani kwa sababu alikuwa anaona this season yes. na lazima angenipatia mtu wa kusimama na, eh, na mimi wow. na wakunibeba mm. and uh, i remember nilipokuwa nikitoka alikasirika sana alikuwa anambia washo kaniki na hiyo wow. because alikuwa anashindwa nani atenda kunitekea care wow. the, my, my daughter was very young so tulipokuja nairobi nikaenda hospitali mm -hmm kwenda kwa nao niko na kanguvu kakupanda mpaka mate niende ah, peke wow. yangu mm -hmm. lakini my husband nakumbuka the first day alinipeleka na kanibu kuna nguvu kabisa ya kuingia akanifikisha kwa gate akaenda akaenda town nikaenda hospitali nitoa St Francis in Kasarani mm -hmm. nikaingia kama wale wa mambo wengine nikapanga line nikafanywa test zote but later uh, nilipoingia kwa nurse akaniambia melody a eh, eh, blood group yako ni hii kila kitu but ananiangalia ile macho macho inaniambia there is something. There is something. Akaniambia yeah. but here kuna kitu ambayo si mzuri. You are HIV positive. Wow. Na aliponiambia hivyo akaka akona ako ready good either nikianguka nifikilie. Na akanipe a lot of encouragement you know eh, watu wanakaa na HIV and eh, eh, evil wana give birth na wana survive na watoto wana survive. But akiniambia hivyo bado wakili yangu ilikuwa wewe hujaelewa vile umesema. Na ulikuwa unakaa symptomatic kama ilikuwa sasa hiyo uh, ulikuwa umerudisha nguvu. Nilikuwa nimerudisha nguvu but bado nilikuwa na ngozi yangu ilikuwa bado bado mm. sikuwa nakaa vizuri. Wacha tuniseme ukweli sikuwa nakaa vizuri. <laughs> nilikuwa nimerudisha kanguvu ka kunibeba lakini bado nilikuwa nimekonda nilikuwa nilikuwa natoka garages fulani hata kwa shingo bado zinaka na na my, my lips zilikuwa bado zinapili. Wow. Sasa akiniambia but kamwili kalikuwa kamerudi rudi kalikuwa kamerudi rudi kidogo hata kama nilikuwa nimekonda nilikuwa at least naonekana niko niko mtu afadhali, eh, afadhali. Mm. so aliponiambia nika nika digest nikamwambia haiwezekani akaniambia no it is true hii ni lab yetu tunafanya wale mama wengine wote nikamwambia inaweza rudiwa akasema tunaweza rudia but ndio turudie you can go tell your husband to come turudie tena akiwa So I went home with with ile wa mama wa mama wa tulikuwa tumefeedwa if you are positive it is your husband that is very positive ah yes is the one who brought so, it yes. so I went home with confidence I want to face this man mm. so my husband came and I'm like nilienda hospitali nikaambiwa na sasa sijakula yani ile na god afike mm. yana nikaambiwa this and this nikaambiwa niko positive akaniambia hao jive ni wanasema and I'm like oh harshly kwani unasema hivyo kwani unajua kenye kinaenda mbona unasema akaniambia juzi last last week nili donate blood na hiyo time uki donate blood ulikuwa kwanza unafanywa test zote kwanza unaambiliwa tu hapa mm. akaniambia hiyo karatasi niko bado nayo hata size mm -hmm. ninasema i'm not positive and nikajirudia i'm like kwa hivyo wale watu walikosea venye nilikuwa nimemwambia mm -hmm. nikamwambia tunaenda kesho asubuhi mm -hmm. And I told him we are going to carry even our daughter now the first born. So did you quarrel him or how did no, you react? No, I didn't quarrel him. It's you know that 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 bad when I am pregnant and yeah. and the tears and all that the emotions. Mm -hmm. And he was like no, who's going to stress? Kisha tutaenda na tuta yani alikuwa yeye alikuwa ready kwenda ku approve wrong. Wow. Alikuwa ready kwenda ku approve wrong my wife is not mm -hmm. sick. Mm -hmm. So we went and we redo with like kila mtu sasa the, the husband, my daughter and myself. Again, test is kaenda zikarudi tukaitwa ndani 
akaniambia melody she's an nurse emily bado ako, ako st francis until now akaniambia melody hapa sasa sijui tutafanya nini because your husband is negative your daughter is negative oh you're Jesus. still positive oh god when you tambiana sasa nikashuka chini ile <laughs> how come it, it will happen mimi ndio niko na nasina but i remember what my husband said mm. and that is what gave me strength mm. aliambia nas emily i can attest today that my wife is faithful mm -hmm. so iki to tutenda tuulize mungu mali imetoka wow. and he was not born again by that time because it was 2004 aliyokuwa 2006 mm -hmm. haku ameokoka akasema tutarudi nyumbani tujue but in my spirit i was like he saying that because we are here mm -hmm. tukifika nyumbani nitaelezea kenya kid happen i know tukaenda nyumbani and the story was different he was like no calm down Do, uh, don't tell anybody mm -hmm. lazima tutajua the, the, the nini behind everything mm -hmm. and i was feeling it's like he's pretending yeah. but he was not pretending that man that man oh god mungu afanye ishi milele kwa sababu he stood with me mom he stood oh. with me alisimama na mimi akaniambia sijui venye tutafanya lakini lazima upone wow lazima upone in fact nasemaga angekuwa ule mtu angeniambia hiyo siku aniongelesha vibaya ningekufa that week Nipe. because the stigma ilianza kunikula tu immediately niko kwa hospitali and you know that hiyo hiyo stigma ile kitu nafanya watu wengi wa, wakufe HIV it is not because waligonjeka sana mm -hmm. ni hiyo stigma society mm -hmm. wanawajudge wrongly mm -hmm. hiyo stigma ili nishika that week sasa hiyo week ambayo tumeingia within one week nikarudi vile nilikuwa nikagonjeka sasa tu next then nikaambia Mungu every time nikilala naambia Mungu na, natamani nikufe sasa niamke nipata nimekufa na alafu Mungu haniwi siku moja nikaambia Mungu nai najua niki miscarriage hiyo blood itakuwa ime, ikitoka ndani yangu nitakuwa siko very weak na nitaenda eh, one afternoon one afternoon nikaambia Mungu nataka sasa nikilala niamke nipate na nikaamka na niangalie kama nime miscarriage juu nilikuwa najua that is the only thing itafanya nikuwe by this time uko how how niko, many months pregnant niko almost seven oh so ni mtoto mkubwa ni mtoto mkubwa kabisa but god nasikia kitu ndani yangu inaniambia melody huyu mtoto hawezi enda mahali kama ame survive tangu day one na hakutokaga hawezi enda mahali and that is when i made a covenant with god i told god nikiwa kwa hiyo bendi kaambia ukiniponya juu najua nasikia kwa watu wanasema kwa watu wanaponaga mm -hmm. ukiniponya i will serve you and then i will testify nitakuwa naambia watu there is a god in heaven ambaye ni jehovah rafa ambaye anaponya naga but nikagoja so one day my husband akaniambia tutafute tu aman of god na tuamini hata hiyo attitude yake haiku change he did not change the way he the funny thing he loved me more the funny let me, let me tell you the truth when a doctor will impartia mpaka instruction oh anafaa kukunywa dawa sijui nini yeye ndio alinikanya kukunywa dawa akaniambia ah watu wanataka kugua na huyu mtoto hizi madawa zimekuwa nyingi sana tuamini mungu huyu mtoto atakaa kwa tumbo na hakuna mahali ataenda and he was not born again he was not born again but you were born again i was born again but nilikuwa nimerudi nyuma nasikia eh, ni ile tu vuguvugu nilikuwa na grace ya baba yangu nilikuwa na surviving <laughs> na grace ya baba yangu my dad is a pastor i am a pastor's daughter that, yeah. eh, sasa hiyo nilikuwa najua tu mbinguni na county wa nicole lakini bado nilikuwa sikuwa na ile personal relationship na god, god yeah. so alikaa na hiyo imani hiyo imani one day akaniambia kuna mahali tulis nilisikia watu wanaendanga na Mungu Mungu anatumia that man of God I want us to go and by that time mom tulikuwa tume tume sota ile msote yenye hata kwenda town 20 bob ya kutoka githurai alikuwa anakopa so for us twende na mtoto wetu kwa that man of God because lazima tungeenda na mtoto tuna mtu wa kumwachia eh, tulishukishiwa mahali ambapo tuli walk for a very long distance and the only thing we could afford kununulia mtoto by that time it is kamutungo ya 10 bob that kama indi ndio msurviveshe it was just an, an evening service an afternoon evening service and evening service watu wengi hawaendagi mm -hmm. ni watu wenye wanataka kutafuta Mungu ndio wanaendaga mm -hmm. and i remember tulipoingia it was just a normal service the man of god preached and then at the end of the service akapea aka example na mimi yule mtu anapenda anasema akapea example na mimi and then akasema the grace of healing is here so i want to release mm -hmm. the grace of healing and my husband alikaniambia nikwe nimeka pale so enda 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 mm -hmm. Wow, so and just not even born yes. again. Yes. Just come and tap my hands. Vile tu, you know what wanafikiri anga mira kwa ikikuja lazima ushike wafanye vitu we. Kina nika tap the hands and then nikarudi nikaambia Mungu nimeamini. And then yeye kwanza ndio alikuwa anaamini ananiambia ni atumeamini Mungu lazima atatenda atatenda. And then we went back 
and there's still that ka voice but I remember at that moment I was going to I was going to say that 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 the day of birth. Just hold on that thought before you take us there. And then we'll be taking a break shortly and then we'll come and hear what the Lord did. Amen. See you after the break. Amen. So welcome back our viewer. We are just hearing the testimony of God's healing and intervention in Melody's life. So from the day you were prayed for Ulitapkwa, the man of God, mm. did you feel any different or what happened until the day of delivery? Ni kulikuwa na difference kwa sababu nilikuwa calm kabisa. Na niliporudi nyumbani ile ile stigma iko nisumbua venye ilikuwa imenisumbua awali. Because I was speaking life. Mm -hmm. Every time ningia muka nilikuwa nasema before ni ni, ni ni pate mtoto wangu nitakuwa nimepona. So actually it injected faith. Yes. Ulijipata sasa hata wewe umeweza kuamini for mm. yourself. Mm. And na kawait kalianza kurudi ni hapo eh, sana kwanza ni, eh. nilikuwa nime in fact the, the next time nilienda clinic eh. nilikuwa nimeanza sasa kurudi because every time nilikuwa na shed. Mhm. Mm sasa nilikuwa nimeanza kurudi nimeanza kurudi hata hata nakumbuka na semi ya kiniambia kama tutaendelea hivi tutakuwa na mwisho mzuri sana. Because wow. nilikuwa nimeanza kurudi kabisa. So hiyo time yote hiyo duration yote ambayo nilikuwa nilikuwa now the the two I guess the two months ndio nipate mtoto. Mm -hmm. Every time nilikuwa nikiamka asubuhi naambia Mungu mimi nataka utukuzwe na maisha yangu. Wow. Like I I want a testimony. And you know by that time kila mtu alikuwa ukimwi hezi ponwa. Like everybody yako yeah. na ukimwi. Yeah. Unakuanga kila mtu amepanga hata wamekupangia. Watu wameanza ku save these person alikuwa ananiambia walikuwa wameanza ku save mtu wao pesa ya, ya, ya mazishi because walikuwa wanajua atakufa. And then there was this um, conclusion that once it's diagnosed, mm, mm. the next thing, watakuwa na kuangalia na sura ingine, mm, yes. like waone how we may progress. Oh, oh, oh. And that stigma, yu mana nimesema yu stigma ndu inamalizanga watu. Mm -hmm. Because mtu anakuanga mejijaji le, and then uh, it is not like cancer. Yes. Because most people anakuanga wame tag, it is an immoral sickness. Mm -hmm. So, si ile sickness uneza toke wende wambia watu nikona cancer ama nikona typhoid. Mm -hmm. Inakuanga nile kitu, everybody anakuanga amejificha sana. Mm -hmm. Because even the most of the people that I reach now, watu wengi hata, hata mtu atakangi kwanza ajulika, ajulika nejina mm -hmm. kabla ajajisema. Antakanga mtu waseme na ajaribu kuambia hata jina yangu nikikuambia usifite. Because usi onge kwa sababu, Watu wengi wanajaji wangu harshly yes. na community. Yeah. Ukijulikana it is HIV. Yeah, it's normally you are, you are considered immoral as you say. Sure, sure, mm -hmm. sure. So kwangu mimi nilika, iyo time ambao nimeambiwa, nilika for two months nikuwa nikona na a lot of, a lot of hope and faith. Mm -hmm. Because I remember the time ambao nilifika niya kuenda delivery. Mm -hmm. um, ata singeweza kulalia kitanda changu kwa, kwa, kwa ward. Mm -hmm. Nilipo oneshwa kitanda njio hiki, siku, siku kilalia. Mm -hmm. Nilitoka nikazunguka kiteni ya, ya St. Francis. Nikiomba nilikuwa nambia mungu, mimi nataka, nataka ending nzuri. Mm -hmm. Na nilipofika hospitali, the first thing walifanya, because the time that waliniambia niko HIV positive, and waka confirm for the second time wambao ndiniena my husband, waliniambia my husband na mimi, now, Melody, you have to choose. If you, ha you are going to breastfeed your child, eh, lazima um breastfeed kama umekunywa dawa. Ukiwa na leba lazima ukunywa dawa tablet, ambo itenda yoshe damu diweza ku breastfeed mtoto. Na kama uta choose kuto breastfeed mtoto hau uta kunyo dawa. So mi nilikuwa nime choose ku breastfeed kwa sababu mtoto wangu wakwanza nili breastfeed na nikona it's a good experience. Yeah. So nilikuwa nikunyo ya dawa yosiku nikifika. So the first time nilingia ni wakasikia this melody and you know watu wenye wako HIV kuna venye unatritiwa because hata ukipewa kitanda kuna venye unapewa kitanda. Yani see oh, yeah, it's, it's not the same. So hata yes. pia stigma kwa hosiku. Hata, ku, hata ukienda ku, wakikuzalisha mtoto wanavaa like ni kama pipi yes so hiyo <laughs> time nilipewa dawa kanilitia dawa kaniambia lazima kunywa dawa nikaambia na sembi lino siwe and then god aka make sure the nurse mwenye aliniambia niko mgonjwa hiyo siku yeye ndio atakuwa duty mhm mm kaniambia melody lazima si tuliongea nikamwambia no 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 uh, kwa nini utaki kunywa dawa nikamwambia kwa sababu nimepona and then akacheka sarcastically eh yeah. ile ya ukapona eh yeah. ukapona aje nikamwambia yesu aliniponya akaniambia hapana lazima ukunywe dawa nikamwambia no so nilipoenda kuzindikisha my husband after nime admitiwa nilizindikisha my husband ndio ndirudi nizunguke hiyo kitchen niombe akaambia another doctor 
so wakakuja kuniface wakiwa yeye na doctor na doctor akaniambia melody nimesikia umekataa and all that but we know when mwanamke akiwa in labor you can say anything because of the pain and all that nikamwambia it is not labor mimi naongea out of what inasema it is faith mm -hmm. akaniambia faith is in speaking but we have to prove you ya kwamba hiv ni wrong kusema ati mmepona ah. na tuja, tuja kupima eh. so akachukua damu yangu wakaenda nayo lab that time i was now ile ile leba yangu ime, imekuwa juu sana yeah. so nikaendelea kuzunguka si kulala kwa kitanda yangu nilivyo nilipewa nimezunguka nimezunguka within three hours nikaenda kuambia uh, the lady it is time and na hiyo 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 nini walikuwa nayo ya, ya kuniona bado you are hiv and all that she's mm. like melody we have seen people we have seen people laboring like wanna scream and all that why are you not screaming we just seeing you pray like moving praying bado haijafika and i told that lady utanipata kwa kwa kitanda ya, ya leba because mimi najua mtoto ni kujana kuku so i went alone i went alone nikapanda kwenye kitanda and the guy that was washing the labor akaona this is serious cuz siku mpaka nimepewa mavazi yale ya hospital i was still with my car dress coming it can't cuz wanaona how skin eh wanaona kabisa huyu mama ana uchungu it's like anaendelea kuomba na ametuambia mambo ya kupona bado hiyo ni kwa yesu sawa So nilipopanda kwa kitanda wakaambiwa waka ni serious huyo huyo jamaa akakimbia akamwambia huyo mama nikupata napata mtoto. So walikuja hata nikipata ni, ni mtoto and remember walikuwa wamechukua damu mara ya pili. Mhm. Mm Nikiwa bado nikizunguka walikuja the, the guy alikuja tena akaniambia mbele tunataka damu. And because ile uchungu niko nayo hata sitaki kuuliza ni ya nini. Mm -hmm. Na kwa nini unachukua mara nyingine ya pili? Yeah. So nilipopata mtoto kwa sasa nasi walikuja wakanipatisha mtoto and uh, na vile wanavaga ili ilikuja suna kuna mwingine hata hakuvaa akuvaa hiyo kuji protect yeah. na kila kitu. Eh ndio alipomaliza wengine wameingia kwa bafu kuokoka haraka haraka kwa sababu mm. tumemzalisha hatuna zile vitu tunafaa kwa tumevaa. Mm. Athe nimemaliza nimerudishwa nime nao kwa bed yangu. Tumelala na mtoto wangu. Ikafika mtoto ameamuka nikamnyonyesha. Na mtoto wako na how many kgs? Alizaliwa na 3.7. Wow. In spite of all that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So nimenyonyesha mtoto na bado sijajua result. Mhm. Mm Hawajaniambia bado. Mm -hmm. And they took time. They delayed like hawakuji. Mm -hmm. And they, then kuna kitu fishi ilikuwa ina happen. Kuna walikuwa wanakuja wananichungulia wakiwa pale. Sasa kitu naniambia. Mungu inaweza kuwa kuna kuna kitu wana, wana discuss kwa sababu and I was telling God you have never failed. Mm -hmm. Sijai sikia mahali uli fail. Mm -hmm. Mimi najua hauta ni fail. So wa, Mungu akataimia when my husband alikuja ndio walifanya walikuwa wanafanya kenye walikuwa wanataka kufanya it was it was a uh, kitu six the whole day wamekaa walikuja kuniambia six mm -hmm. six ndio waliingia wakaingia the, the mkubwa wa, wa sister ule mkubwa wa St Francis na ndio maana wakachukua damu mara yes. mbili yes. ah okay. mkubwa St Francis sister ndio aliingia na wao and then kulikuwa na watu walikuwa wametoka Israel walikuwa mm -hmm. wame visit the hospital mm -hmm. wakakuja na, na cameras mm -hmm. and they were like melody we heard that you met with Jesus the Israel and i'm like eh, si, not exactly like <laughs> <laughs> but niliombewa na nikaamini nimepona uh -huh. but hawajanipatia result uh -huh. so they were like eh, ulipimwa and this is the result you are negative wow my husband was there and i remember we cried wow we thanked god there was celebration in that hospital ikila kitu ikapoze mpaka mume wenyewe alikuwa na uchungu uchungu ikapoze kwanza uh -huh. and uh, god did it for his glory amen alone, for his wow. glory alone amen wow amen wow So what did the doctor say and uh, Emily what was their reaction until today yeah. Emily anani an ile time yenye nimeenda nimekutana na yeye um hadi leo ananiambia ngapi bado sijaamini ninaamini kuna Mungu mbinguni anaponyaga but sijawahi kuwa na mtu okay i was the the first patient yeah. mwenye ashaiona amepona So until today hata nikienda huko ananitanga mtu wa mira kwa mtu wa miujiza amen yes. so at that point did your husband get born again or What was in fact like? in fact sa e time ndio god ni kama ndio god alikuwa anavuruga moyo wake mm -hmm. because you stood with her your faith ikakuwa mkaamini na Mungu akatenda that time ndio because now uh, our daughter alizaliwa 2005 mm -hmm. february mm -hmm. and uh, alipozaliwa sasa hapo ndio tulianza ku raise faith yetu mm -hmm. tulikuwa na changamoto zingi sana zingefanya tutingizike mm -hmm. but god ali akatutumia that man of god because i remember tuliokokea kwetu kwa nyumba wow 
and akafika that same man of yes. god who prayed for you yes that yeah. that no no not the same man of uh -huh. god now the, that that man that i was telling you alikuwa amenipeleka kasarani ku yes yeye ndiye alituasha to salvation but i remember that time the 2005 there was a lot of battles yes a lot of battles mm -hmm. ambazo zenye zilikuwa zinataka like ku shake faith yake mm -hmm. isikuwe alisimama na mimi kwa sababu ya because there are those people that will tell you negative things yes how come how come how come eh hey, yes mungu because now we said it after Mm -hmm. after ndio watu wengi wa familia walijua but mama ni kama alikuwa anajua because my my mom in love alikuwa ananiambia hii 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 wenye unakaa it's like your your hiv positive alikuwa anakuambia eh, alikuwa ananiambia ananiambia vile unakaa mpaka hiyo kuheja mbona mm -hmm. wadua matire mara agudhima alikuwa ananiambia nikikuu mm -hmm. hawaja kupima bado waone vile unakaa hawaja kuambia kinamwambia hakuna kitu ameniambia but ye ni kama alikuwa ana sense but later on ndio alikuja kuambiwa the sisters even my family even my, my brother my brother alijua later because i i fulfilled the covenant of i will serve you i served for almost 10 years but he going to testify but one day god said now you have to testify mm -hmm. and, and that's that, why you're that is why i am here when you testified what was the reaction of people initially your time do nilisikia sauti imeniambia ongea kwa sababu kuna mtu anagojea kusikia anagojea tu kusikia kuwe na hope mm -hmm. and i remember anko anko kwa chela hivyo kianiambia melody uko na kitu yote mungu amekutendea ambao unaweza ambia mtu and that is the first time nilipo nilipo testify nilikuwa na uoga sana nilikuwa mpaka mm -hmm. nimesweat mikono and a lot of tension mm -hmm. but nilipo maliza nilisikia wow. yani kuna kitu kimetoka ndani yangu wow. and since that time because it was 2015 mm -hmm. until now Amen. I am testifying. Have you been able and to touch many people through your oh testimony? Oh my my especially the, the last one that was two weeks ago. Mm. There was a person that I I am a, I am a policeman. Mm. Uh, and I was ready to shoot two of my daughters mm -hmm. because my wife died four years ago. Yeah. And I felt siezi acha watoto wangu. So nilikuwa nataka ni washoot tukufe wote pamoja and the moment nilifungua television nikapata ukitestify i felt it is not time yet to die wow the god that you trusted i can still trust god na mimi niishi amen so i know every time that i give this testimony mm -hmm. there are calls all over that uli ongea ukafanya kitu fulani siku fulani ulienda hata kanisa fulani nilikuwa mm -hmm. niko hapo nikakusikiliza na nika ile decision nilikuwa ni make sick mpaka size i trust god there are those people that are still sick Mhm mm sisemi yetu kuna watu niliongea wakapona instantly mm -hmm. kuna watu ambao bado ni wagonjwa lakini wamekaa wakijua mm -hmm. there is hope there is one hope. day mungu atafanya kitu amen. amen so if people want to reach you and maybe somebody wants to talk to you maybe how can they reach you um nikneza pia na namba yangu no problem yeah eh, ni 0724 600065 0724 600065 Oh 6065 yes, that's yes. a nice one. Mm. So you can call her and you have social media pages. Yes, uh, mm. Facebook Melody Ndichu. Mm -hmm. and then I have a page Melody Ndichu. Okay. And then uh, uh kwa Instagram Twitter at Melody Ndichu. Okay, and then uh the Gondoro Foundation. What do you do and if somebody wants to support you what can they do? Uh God Gondoro Foundation. Mm -hmm. Uh it is a foundation that was birthed out of this testimony. Mm -hmm. And uh sometimes people ask what is godoro godoro is a mat matrix yeah yes a matrix it ilibadhiwa out of the word of god in john chapter 5 verse 8 uh, get up pick up your mat and go mm -hmm. and it is a mark of remembrance to me amen and uh, it, it, the, the initiative ilibadhiwa in the year 2005 mm -hmm. uh, 2015 mm -hmm. na imekuwa ni ya ku reach wale watu ambao wamevunjika moyo mm -hmm. by that time i started with girls but now i'm reaching women with mm -hmm. hiv yeah. ambao wamejificha because wako wengi sana wow. uh, next week uh, next week or next week but one ndakuwa ni visit na kuru where there is 15 of them mm -hmm. ambao walinigletua na families mm -hmm. and their 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 community in reverend in kenya mm -hmm. ambao wanawake your husband akikufa mm -hmm. alikuwa hiv alafu baki ukiwa na hiv you are stoned to death oh. or you are thrown in a evil forest mm -hmm you um, unashemiwa una walk naked in the what and then wana kuchoma mm -hmm. in Kenya not in, in Kenya. Kenya yes uh -huh. in Kenya so kuna watu ambao nimekuwa niki reach now the burden that i have with godoro alpha foundation is reaching them that yeah. wako na stigma kuambia there is hope 
and then kuka nao na niwambie kubali kuka vile huko because you don't know what God is going to do tomorrow Amen, Amen. Wow, wow, what an initiative you can be of blessing to her ministry and of course at the end of it all no matter what sickness that you have everybody has a right to dignity Amen. and God is still a healing Jesus so Amen. as we finish this uh, broadcast we're going to hear her song God Noro and I pray that it will bless you make sure you reach out to her 0724-6065 it's mm -hmm. an easy number <laughs> you can actually impress her and send her mattress you can actually <laughs> maybe subscribe to her YouTube channel mm -hmm. and God bless you. Always Amen. a joy to be your host, Reverend Ruth Wamoyo from CTN and the team. Bye-bye.